Welcome back to the Gaijin Sanctuary with more... Hold on. Okay, cool. We're, we're, we're professional. We're, we're doing more Japan story time. What's up? Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Have I ever mentioned that I don't know how to start videos? Because unless I just cut out the beginning, the entire beginning. If you notice in my writing, like I just cut out the beginning and I'm like, okay, just move on. Just get, just get started. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna get started. Actually, I lied. Before we get started, we have a new mysterious beverage to to sample. This time we got we got this. You can see that, right? It's got Kirby on it. It. I'm not 100 percent sure what it says. It says Zeri me. Zeri me is the first line. Supaku rinku. Don't ask me what that means. It's it's in. Katakana, so theoretically it might be in English, although it might be in German. You never know. <laughs> but, uh, it's, I know what it says. This looks like a soda. Okay, here's my issue with this. It looks like a soda, but on the front it says to shake it ten times b before opening it. It says it on the back, too. So I'm like, I shake a soda? Are you sure? Are you sure? Is this some sort of elaborate prank? When does this expire? 2025. Okay, we're good. I bought this like a couple months ago because <laughs> I've, I've been afraid. It scares me, okay? It's apparently, it looks to be melon flavored. I don't know, right? Does that look melon? So we're going to, we're going to do what it says. We're going to, we're going to shake it 10 times and uh, hope for the best. Wait, does a shake count as this or like two motions of that? Let's count shake as like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a bad idea. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't know if I bought this one, guys. It didn't explode. It did not explode. What is it? It tastes, it smells like melon. I was about to like bring that up to the camera to be like, yeah, see, it smells like lemon. But then I'm like, wait, hold on. We don't have that technology yet. I hope we never get that technology. <laughs> To be able to dis to display smells for the internet. Could you imagine pop-up ads? <laughs> you have no idea. Anyway. This circle is too small for my big American mouth. It's very bubbly. I don't know. I still don't know what this is. I'm literally drinking it. I don't know what it is. It's way too foamy and like. I don't think I shook it up enough. What? It has like a top layer to it. I think it's something. It's like, it's like Jello with mixed with like a foam, a carbonized drink. I don't know, man. Dude, don't ask me. We're just gonna move on, okay? That's our drink for the moment. I was gonna do another alcohol, but uh, no. We 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 need we need silly Kirby drinks. I'm still looking for a new sticker for my phone because it currently has like a little otter on it, but it's like translucent, so you can still see the stupid, stupid, stupid logo through it. Which is a this case has a circle through it, so you can see the Apple logo, and it's really dumb. But I like this case otherwise, so whatever. Anyway, uh, I was gonna start with what I forgot last time, but I think most of what I forgot last time is a little bit of a moot point. Cause I didn't, I didn't intend for that last episode to be super long, but uh, it just kind of was, <laughs> and I, and unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, depending on how you look at it, this one I think is also gonna go run long because it's been like three months. Cause the last one was at like the beginning, like or like the mid of September, and this one is currently being recorded on the sixteenth of November. So it's been like, it's been two months. That's that's not bad. That's not that's not a bad amount of time at all, right? It's supposed to be cold, and sometimes it is, but sometimes it's not, and I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, what I was going to say, I was going to look at my phone to remind me. That's, I'm not a super huge fan of, like, staring at my phone while doing a vlog, but, like, it's how it goes, man. It's how it goes. <laughs> because I have a really bad memory if I don't write crap down. I could write it down physically. That'd be funny. <laughs> but that's for future times i was gonna say uh yeah earthquakes like there was that one earthquake that happened the night that i got here and that was the most notable one but there's since then there's been like a billion other earthquakes that i don't even like 
it's just not notable. Like one happened, no, though. Okay, like one happened like in the middle of the night when I like woke, I like woke myself up. No, yeah, no. It, it that earthquake woke me up. I didn't wake myself up because of the earthquake. I guess that's how that happened. Like your body wakes yourself up, wakes itself up for the earthquake. Not important. Anyway, so like yeah, the earthquake woke me up in the middle of the night, and I was like should I do something about this? And I was like, nah. And then <laughs> I was in the middle of talking to like my mom and she was like, oh, she was doing, she was doing the thing, you know, the thing that moms do when their sons move away. Uh, she was like, oh yeah, make sure, make sure you're eating right. Stay safe. You know, you don't want to, don't want anything bad to happen to you. And I'm like, don't worry. Like Japan's the safest country in the world. Nothing's bad's gonna happen to me. Don't worry. And as soon as I said that, an earthquake started. And my mom was just sitting there in over, like, uh, whatever uh, messaging program we use. Uh, just sitting there in abstract horror being like, I, there's, he's gonna die and there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> but unfortunately, all the earthquakes so far have just been, like, very, like, tiny, like, shakes from side to side. It's not, like... It's been, it's been nothing, it's been nothing massive is basically what I'm saying. It's to the point where like, I'm like, I think an earthquake is happening. Should I do something about this? And I sit there for like a half a minute. And then by the time I'm done, by the time I'm done thinking about it, it's, it's over. <laughs> so I don't know, but I should, I should, uh, I should probably, I should take precaution. You know, I should before, cause one of these days it's not, it's not going to be a fun earthquake, <laughs> but, uh, I, I, I've, I generally have a thing to do, you know, I have a little card in my wallet. I don't know where that is, but I have a little card in my wallet that says, uh, please help me. <laughs> Basically, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But, uh, if, uh, I like get hit on the head and I forget all my Japanese, <laughs> I can just run up to somebody and show them that card and they'll, they'll understand. <laughs> but more importantly, the card has, uh, the emergency numbers on it because there's a different emergency to call the police and to call the ambulance. And it's like almost the same number. Because in America, it's like 911, but in Japan, I think it's 119. So it's just confusing, and that's definitely going to be the first thing I forget as soon as I get hit on the head after an earthquake. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I think also one happened while I was uh, streaming, <laughs> so that was fun. It, it did not stop the stream, don't worry about it. Anyway, so that's that's all that's all I wanted to tell you. I still want to do a room tour. But uh, I've been I've been slowly doing that. I got I got a different angle. Like I turn I usually the couch faces like that way because like that's the monitor right here that I use. But uh, I flipped it around to have a better background. You know how it goes, man. Last time I had I it was just slightly over here. It was like that it was like that way. So eventually, through enough like getting different camera angles for these videos, I'll eventually do a room tour, <laughs> or I might just do one eventually anyway. Who cares? Uh, maybe some people do, but, uh, not me at the moment. <laughs> so anyway, last time, um, I, it was mostly just getting re like adjusted to living here, like buying stuff that I need to live and, uh, setting up all this stuff, like setting up the internet and whatnot. And then this time I've been trying, trying, okay. Trying as, as, as much as you can, like to make friends. Okay. Like. You know, which I'm sure you all are aware is not an incredibly easy thing for me to do as I sit here in my Kirby shirt with all my anime and video game stuff behind me. <laughs> but you know how it goes. I'm, I, you know what? I think, I think I'm the most sociable in terms of people of my ilk, if that makes any sense. You know, I think, I think, I, I think I'd get out and do things more often than other, uh, nerds do <laughs> I, don't, I don't like using the word nerd because that has like a weird like social context now anyway this is how the, these videos go on for hours <laughs> so i've been trying to i've been trying to make uh friends i've been trying to uh talk with people at work because that's another issue is because i go around to like three different schools it's taken like three times as long to like get to know everybody there but it's it's working it's it's happening slowly you know it's happening slowly and uh just general like what what i do what i do here what what my goal you know 
I still don't know how personal I want these videos to be because, like, they don't get any views, but, like, uh, they eventually might blow up or be so she so she seen by somebody, <laughs> you know? But, uh, who cares? It's not like I say anything bad is all, all my issue is. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not one to, like, want to hide secrets. Like, the worst thing that I think I'll, I say is, like, ah, maybe I'm not that great of a person. <laughs> You know, and I should probably fix that, which, like, I think it's true for everyone, <laughs> even if they don't, like, outright say, you know, how it goes, man. Anyway, so I made a new friend. <laughs> um, we will call him uh, Dr. L, we w is because uh, we need to call him something, and uh, I don't necessarily want... The, again, going back to the whole privacy thing, I don't want the whole, the entirety of everybody knowing who this person is, but by name, I guess. But there's like a hundred people that have like the same names. It'd be really hard. I don't know. If you collect enough data, you'll eventually find out where I live and you can kill me. But, you know, if you do, you deserve it, honestly. Anyway, <laughs> Dr. L uh, is a guy who I met at uh, the one of the thousands of orientations i think it was the one specifically for fukushima city because i specifically went out of my way to try to like make friends with people because i'm like oh they might be kind of like close to me <laughs> even though like most of those people like ended up being like i want to say stationed that's not really like an appropriate term though but i can't think of anything else so yeah stationed like at the other end of fukushima because fukushima is kind of a giant prefecture in the in the grand scheme of things like the entirety of japan is still sh smaller than california but you, in the grand scheme of things fukushima is pretty big or like relatively not in the grand scheme of, in the grand scheme of things it's small but relatively it's pretty big i don't I don't understand. Should I get a spoon? Is because you saw I just like. Hmm. Hmm. It's chewy. What is this drink? What is this drink? People who are more knowledgeable in Japanese drinks. What is this thing? What has Kirby done to me? Why am I eating this? It's yummy though. It's like a melon melon jello. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, Dr. L doesn't live too far away. It's, he doesn't live, he, it's weird because, like, the train systems are, like, in a weird V. <laughs> so, like, we're theoretically close to each other, but because there's no train to get from one V to the other, one side of the V to the other, we have to meet at the center of the V, which is Fukushima City. <laughs> so, and otherwise, like, we'd have to, like, go, like, the weird long way. Trains are stupid. Trains are stupid. <laughs> I'll get more on into that later, but anyway, uh, and yeah, you know what? Good guy. I, I was, I was, I was very surprised that just like this random guy that I met turned out to be super, ch super chill and super fun to hang out with. But uh, yeah, we just basically like, uh, I was like, hey, uh, let's. Uh, I'm bored. Are you bored? Let's do. Let's fix that. And we just kind of explored all of uh, Fukushima City, and we just kind of wandered around. We found the movie theater. We found a cat cafe. We found. What else did we found? <laughs> we found, we founded it a, uh, there was a shrine and uh, yeah, we found an, we founded it an arcade and just kind of generally walked around and chatted, got to know each other. <laughs> Inter interesting guy, you know, I'm, I'm an interesting guy. Again, the whole, don't want to reveal too much information, but uh, you know, very, very surprised that there's just random chance I ran, I bumped into somebody who has had a really interesting life and I click with really well. But anyway, <clears throat> not anyway, on to, on to the same topic. What did we do? Oh, yeah, we went to an Okonomiyaki restaurant, and that was pretty sick. And, uh, yeah, no, no. And then, since then, uh, that was September, September's 22nd. And since then, I've just forgotten to do anything with him because I forgot. And I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Anyway. Because, uh, I don't know, like, he hasn't contacted me at all, but, like, maybe he's also late, you know? <laughs> that's, how, that's how it goes with me. Like, I'm always, like, the most, like, 
weirdly like the most proactive about doing things like nobody really ever like contacts me wanting to do anything maybe that that's because i'm a bad person that nobody wants to hang out with unless they're like oh fine we'll, we'll hang out with you if you if you insist you know but uh, i don't know who knows <laughs> But uh, maybe I just want to hang out with people more than they want to hang out with me. But anytime I ask, they're always like, yeah, sure, let's let's do it, you know? <laughs> so uh, my conclusion is people are lazy. Mm. Um, I like it. It's just unconcerning to just go for a drink, which looks like a soda. But it's like a bunch of jello just going down my gullet. And it's really weird. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. And then the, uh, like, the next weekend, the 27th through the 29th, I went on uh, my first uh, overnight trip that a couple of the uh, teachers in the area uh, organized, uh, going to uh, Gunma and going on, going, um, what the fudge do they call it? Mountaining? Hike? Rivering? What was that? Wait, what did, what did they call it? canyoning it was called canyoning and i was like what does that entail i'm desperately curious i saw it's they were like oh yeah just going around picture they, they showed pictures of like climbing up mountains and jumping off of waterfalls and i'm like that looks fun <laughs> well we'll try that and uh it went okay <laughs> the end moving on anyway so anyway no um so yeah basically what happened it was a Okay, so basically what happened on Friday, um, they set it up so, like, it wasn't over, like, a three-day weekend, which was, like, there was a lot of, like, three-day weekends around it that they didn't use for some reason. But, like, they set it up in a way that we didn't have to take time off. So, basically, like, we left Friday after, like, evening after work and then got back Sunday night. And it did work out, but it was stressful because basically, like, as soon as I left work, I had to just run on over to my place like grab my bag and then run on over to the state train station and then take the train to fukushima city and then run over to the place where we were getting picked up and it wasn't that pain a big of a pain in the butt but you get the idea okay i need my throat is dry so i need water <laughs> And, uh, that is not water. That is, this is not a, this is not a liquid. I think, can you see that? No, you can't. It's just off screen. I don't have anywhere to put it. I do have my mouse though. You like my mouse? With my, uh, mouse pad, my waifu mouse pad, my Rosalina waifu mouse pad. I bought this, like, it was, it's been, like, almost ten years, maybe? I want to say it's only been, like, five or seven but uh, I got a custom mouse pad and I just have never replaced it because it's just never broken. It's the best mouse pad I've ever bought, so whatever. Because <laughs> all, all the, my other mouse pads like fall apart in like three days. <laughs> anyway, not important. So uh, there uh, we like, okay, so we left in the evening and it was like five hours away. <laughs> so we all took a bus, a very cramped bus. <laughs> to i mean it was cheap like all like i'm going to complain a lot about the like lodging and a lot of the other things but like at the end of the day it, it was uh like relatively cheap to go on a uh two night little trip and uh basically two night trip and like do fun canyoning and stuff but uh it was a pain in the ass starting with the the cramped ass bus that took like five hours because we had to make like 20 stops to pick up everybody else <laughs> And then when we got there, it was like oh, two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a pain in the butt. And then we had to get up like super early the next day, so like we all got like five hours of sleep. And I'm like, hmm, this seems familiar. <laughs> I, 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 am I just cursed to have very long travel times and then get like very little sleep? Is that is that just is that just like a, is that a thing that I have to do now that I just have to accept? But, uh, yeah, no, no, like, so anyway, the place where we were, were, was like, I would call it a lodge, I guess, because it's, it's basically just like, uh, Japanese-ish style, like, tatami mats and padding, which was like, 
not that great you know like i mean if you're used to if you're if you're born and raised in japan and you're used to sleeping on in that style of bedding then it's fine but uh, i'm a very big american who is not used to doing that and it was it was not very comfortable <laughs> but uh you know whatever i'll live i'll live but yeah the place is really cool because because uh, it's run by like a bunch of foreigners which is kind of interesting <laughs> Just a random group of foreigners in uh, Gunma. It's called... I have a souvenir that shows the name. It's just called Canyons. It's literally the name, if you care about this place. But it is a good place. But I would just recommend getting uh, better rooms and not... Because uh, I think they do have rooms with like real beds. <laughs> with uh, American beds. Or not real bed. You know, and any bed is real, you know? <laughs> you know how it goes, man. <laughs> But anyway, uh, American beds is what I meant to say. But uh, you know how it goes. The fudge was I going on about? Oh yeah, it's run by foreigners. It's cool. I used to be like super like anti foreigner in back in my Akita days when I uh, studied abroad in Japan for a year, like two years ago. Uh, because basically, like I was at an international school and there was like it just basically felt like America. And I'm like, why did I come all this way just to be? in america <laughs> but uh so it was initially kind of annoying to not be able to be like in japan it was like i want to go to japan to be in japan and, and so anytime i wanted to like be in japan i had to leave the school which was not the very frequent but i think over the course of that experience i was experience is a weird word for it but the, over the course of that endeavor <laughs> uh i come to i came came to understand the benefits the fudge am I going on about? I'm losing it a little bit, guys. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. By the end of that experience, I had come to understand the joys of an international experience. It was interesting because, like, it wasn't just, like, Americans or Canadians, which are basically, like, nicer versions of Americans. <laughs> but there was also, like, a lot of other people who there too like i'm like uh i was buddies with like a guy from australia and there were people from like places like czech and stuff like that which is really cool but uh yeah but uh but here so i've, I've been more i've been what i meant to, what i mean by this is that i've warmed up to um foreigners in japan <laughs> as long as they uh cannot be they don't they are not obnoxious and respect the culture then you know it's all cool and you know the people at the canyons definitely were. They were just like, hey, you know, like, Japan's cool, but, like, hey, you want to come here and just kind of hang out, you know? There's also, like, there was mostly, like, uh, foreigners that worked there, but there were, like, there were some Japanese people. So, you know, it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a cool time. It was a cool time for everybody. But, uh, yeah. And so, basically, like, they had lodging and they had, like, little tours. So, the next day, we woke up, had crappy breakfast <laughs> because, I don't know, cheap... <laughs> And then we went on some canyons, and that was fun. But and so canyoning is basically like, from from what I did is basically like, there's like a cliff. Okay, so there's like there was like we went to this area that was basically like a little like river, with like cliffs on the side, and like the river constantly like went up and down, but mostly down like that. So there were times where we were just kind of like wading through the lake, and then sometimes where we had to like climb up something, and then sometimes we had to jump off of waterfalls. So that was pretty cool. Definitely the highlight of that was just jumping off a waterfall <laughs> and climbing up cliffs and then jumping off the cliffs into the thing, <laughs> which is cool. Because I don't think I've ever, like, jumped off of something very high before. Like, I think, like, the most I've ever done is, like, a diving board. I, have, I haven't really, like, jumped off of high places because I like to live, but, uh, and there's just, like, not a lot of places to do it. You have to find like a pool with like a really high diving board, but uh, yeah, no, that was that was fun. It was definitely like the thrill. The thrill of that is definitely like after you re after you you fall a certain point, your body just starts to be like, whoa, hold on, this is this is way too far. I'm freaking the f out, and this is a, this is a good it's a good rush. And also another benefit was that it was it was all natural, <laughs> like it was just like they found this really cool like oh man, this place has like things to climb up and stuff to slide down and waterfalls to jump off of so they just decided to make tours and of course they were all like very safe we all had helmets and life vests and everything and uh 
they all every step of the way they're like okay be careful last year someone broke their arm up doing this <laughs> so but like it was all like natural you know it was all like very real it just felt like we drove out into the middle of nowhere and started like scaling down this like long river that occasionally had a couple of like waterfalls in it so uh it was pretty good i like it definitely like it everything surrounding it was not super fun <laughs> oh yeah we also did rafting rafting was rafting was okay you know rafting was okay because we had two we could do two activities and i picked canyoning and rafting the other options was like mountain biking and i'm like I have to bike to work every single goddamn day. I don't want no more goddamn bikes. <laughs> and the second one, and the other option was more canyoning. And I'm like, oh, I want some variety. But, uh, yeah, if now that I know how fun canyoning is, uh, I would have probably picked the just more canyoning. But rafting was fun, you know. It was, it was, it was paddling boats, you know. It's fun. It's fine. <laughs> it's good. Also, I think the issue with the rafting is that the tide was really low. So like we had to keep we had to keep like the the tour guide had to keep getting out and pushing us <laughs> because like there was like we couldn't like get over like rocks that that was the bottom of the lake <laughs> which was pretty funny. But yeah, you know, it was cool. And then like that but yeah, so like okay, so that was the positive of that experience, but like the negative is that like for some reason like I don't know if it was just like the atmosphere of that place or if there was something with me or if there was something with like the group of people that i went to but like i just couldn't talk to them at all like not at all am i recording this is a very awkward time to be asking these questions but the answer to that question is yes i am indeed recording but yeah so basically like i don't know i kept trying to talk to people and like just being more awkward than usual and people like not wanting to talk to me either because like i don't know they don't like me or like they had other they were talking to other people or something but like it just socially like n there was like nothing that happened during that trip like you know like I, I tried with the with the alcohol too you know like everyone was drinking alcohol it was really funny okay so the alcohol was really funny <laughs> because basically the canyon like after that day of canyoning and rafting we had like they had like a party and basically like where they, they watched like first of all they watched the uh stupid sport ball game <laughs> which i didn't care which i just don't care about anyway so that was not a good start but afterwards they had like a party and they and the lodge place had like actual like alcohol and so they were like okay so you're not allowed to bring any alcohol unless you have a bracelet so um being the the other people uh being the young and creative and uh law rule breaking citizens that they are i wouldn't say rule breaking just like stretching the bane like some people who are obviously very used to be like fresh out of college and used to being in schools and being rest restricted to rules of things that they're not allowed to do and finding ways around those rules you know being those type of people what they did is they went to the convenience store, bought a bunch of alcohol, and then before the party started, brought it back and then, like, snuck it in and then went to their rooms and just basically, like, pre-gamed them, like, for, like, a couple hours and then showed up to the party, like, already, like, half drunk and then bought, like, one one or two more beers to, like, continue them. And I'm like... That's a, that's a pretty decent strat, you know, I suppose. I mean, they, they, they can't stop you from bringing in alcohol that's already in your system. So there you go. You, you got them on a technicality. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> Being, I'm not a, a super huge alcohol drinker because, like, it is a drug, you know. And it can be very dangerous. So, you know, I try, I try, to, I try to not do it. And also, I just don't like it too often like i don't need it i don't put myself in situations often enough to you do it at all you know like most of the time like i don't i don't need alcohol to have fun basically is what i'm saying like alcohol is useful like if you're in social situations and you're awkward <laughs> but you know if you just are not in awkward social situations then you don't need alcohol you know anyway uh being alcohol is okay but it can be it can be it can be it can be dangerous Doo 
I have a lot of details in here. I'm thinking of like publishing my notes because there's a lot of details I just kind of skip over that people might care about but might not. Oh my gosh, we're not going, we're not skipping this detail. So during the party, we're like outside and like we were, we all, we were all like, we're all drink, we're all drinking and having a fun time except for me because I can't socialize at all. And also I suck at uh, apples to apples and cards against humanity. And I think I'm just like, I don't know what I, what is with me, but like, I think I'm just too autistic for that game because like every time I play, I, I constantly am get the least amount of score in the entire group. Like I play with different groups of people, apples to apples and cards against humanity is basically a game of trying to guess what the other, what the other people think is funny. And so I pick a card that I'm like, Oh, this is effing hilarious. This is going to win. And then they're like, eh, it's okay. And then they think this other stupid card is funny. And I'm like, ah, okay. Anyway. So anyway, I don't know how I went on that topic. So we were outside, we were drinking and because I think later we played that game, we were outside, we were drinking, and then some, and then somebody was like, "Hey, look over there!" And there was like a dog, <laughs> there was just a dog, you know. He was like tied up, and he was like doing okay. He was, I mean, he was kind of like tied, like waiting. I think like this owner was like doing like something else. He was, I did, I didn't get the impression that he was like tied up for very long, cause like we went over there and like started giving him pets and stuff, and then the, the, his like owner came over and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's Scooby." <laughs> You know, so, like, they were checking on him, but, like, I don't know. So it still probably shouldn't have been tied up to a car. I feel like this thing is not plugged in, but it is. Don't worry about it. Anyway, Scooby is... I just, I just like name... I just like the name of a dog is Scooby. It's, like, very unoriginal, but it's just... It's kind of a classic, you know? You just gotta... The, I approve of that name. <laughs> anyway. Do I want to show this? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> If I remember to put this in, I'll put this in. <laughs> but basically, so on Sunday, we we, wo we woke up and had another crappy breakfast. Okay, you know what? There was not crappy food. The the During lunch, between on Saturday, between the canyoning and the rafting. Canyoning? <laughs> what accent is that? Canyoning. Yeah, no, no, it's a weird drink. That's a weird, maybe I didn't shake, maybe that's why you're supposed to shake it to, to make it that stop. Maybe I didn't shake it enough. I was like very convinced that was soda and that it was going to explode in my hand. But uh, I guess I just didn't shake it enough. Anyway, uh, what was I going on about? Oh yeah, so, <laughs> um, yeah, but for lunch on Saturday, we had, uh, there was there was hot dog, there was hamburgers, like American hamburgers. And, uh, so by like the end of September, it'd been a, a solid like two months since I've been in the states. So I was I was starting to I was starting to feel like oh man maybe maybe a hamburger would be good you know. Cause on a day to day basis, I do just like Japanese food a lot, so I eat like mostly that. You know how it goes, man. Stay closed. Okay. Anyway, so that was cool. So I'll, I'll give them I'll give them that. But I think most of the reason why the food and the bedding situation wasn't super great is just because we got the cheapest way possible. <laughs> so, and if I was going like, if I was if I was in charge of planning, I would have uh, maybe had an option be like, okay, well, you pay this much for this, and then you pay that much, if you want to be comfortable while doing this, you know. Because I have a job, I have money. Let me use my money on things that I like to do. <laughs> Let me use let me let me use my money to make me happy. I thought that's why you were supposed to get a job. What's wrong? Why isn't my money making me happy? Sorry, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Anyway, on on Sunday we left, and they were like, okay, they went to like an onsen, and I just I don't know, I just didn't feel like it <laughs> because uh, I like. I tried the whole time and I couldn't like make connections with anyone. And basically, the reason to go to an onsen is to just basically hang out nude and talk with people, which can be fun. And I have done that before. Back, uh, I did that with my uh, uh, group of buddies back in uh, the uh, Akita days. So I have done that. And I also did that with, uh, I did a host, fa I did host, I did some host family stuff. And I definitely, uh, I definitely got naked with my host family. <laughs> That's, that sounds weird out of context. It was at a onsen, you know? where people are supposed to be naked 
anyway, my the best experience out of that was like the so I was there with like the host father and like he and like so while we were at the onsen he was like he brought up like his friend i guess who i've never seen so this like naked this other like naked old guy comes up to me and he starts like talking in this like really thick accent and i can't understand him at all and i'm like just sitting there also naked just being like cool <laughs> but uh yeah so that, that that's that's an experience that's burned into my memory but yeah, onsen are cool but like this one but for the canyoning thing like I just didn't feel like it, and so I, and, like, the area around was, like, kind of cool, so I was, like, I'd just rather, like, instead of spending the money to do something I'm not super caring about, because I was extra, <laughs> like, the one extra thing that they uh, offered, like, I didn't want to do it, so, which is funny. We're gonna try, we're drinking this again. Ah, oh, that was a noise. Anyway... <laughs> So while everyone is in the onsen, I started wandering around, and, like, I started, so I, like, went across the, like, I basically wandered into a forest, <laughs> essentially, so I, like, want, because they were, like, in there for, like, uh, two hours, and, like, afterwards, we were going to be on, like, a bus, for, a cramped bus for five hours, so I wanted to stretch my legs, so I just kind of started wandering through the forest, and I found, like, an abandoned shrine, <laughs> which was actually kind of, like, pretty sick, because, like, it was like the ruins of a shrine and it was like it was neat it was neat i took a video and if i remember to if i remember to put that in the video then it'll be in the video like right now so i was wandering through the forest and i found this place it appears to be a some sort of like ruins of a shrine or something like there's no like the footpath up here there was a path but it was like it had not been touched in a while <laughs> and there's also this stuff that's just hanging over it fell over and there's that thing and then there's this big bell which i'm really tempted to ring but i'm afraid that uh i'll get arrested <laughs> I don't even know where this place is. This is just in the middle of the forest. But it is kind of crazy. Like, look in there. What's that? I can't read, but maybe this is what it is. Color something something air <laughs> that's what i got that's what i that's what i got i got i got i got two out of four so that's not bad there's like a little bear over there probably a real bear somewhere around here oh yeah and then there's that guy. I hear something. Twigs breaking. This is where I came in. Yeah, you see, like, jeez. Another, like, grave over there. It's really cool. I really, I enjoy it. I'm half tempted to put some, some money in that donation box. But, uh, I don't know if people would come by and collect it. Okay. Oh, let's do it. Thank you for letting me visit spirit of this place. Or God, I still don't get mixed that up. <laughs> Some sort of a uh, kami. Anyway, let's go back before I die. You see, that'd be really stupid if I didn't put it in the video. But yeah, basically, as you can see, if I did put it in the video, then yeah, it was basically, it was really cool ruins and temples. <laughs> and I think, I haven't actually watched that video in a while, but I think I, I, I gave, I think I just left money there randomly. <laughs> Because, which may, which might be kind of disrespectful if it's a abandoned shrine, but like... 
So it's kind of like littering because nobody's collecting it, but like eventually somebody will the 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 anyone the person who ends up having to clean up all that will find that money and that's who I gave it to. <laughs> there you go. Or maybe uh spirits do exist. That's where the money went. But you never know. Uh, maybe maybe one day I'll go back there and find the money gone. And then in this place will be like I don't know, anime superpowers. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about. I got souvenirs. Look at this. Hold on. So these two I wanted to get, I collect pins, so I wanted to get, like, little, like, pins to put on my bag, or, like, I have way too many pins to fit on my bag, so I was thinking of just getting, like, a big shirt to hang on the wall or something to put all my pins on, to display my pins, but, uh, we'll work on that, but they couldn't, they didn't have any pins, but what they did have is, uh, stickers, <laughs> so I got little stickers of the Canyon logo, so... I'll, I might be, my, my logic was that maybe this tiny one I could make into a pin, like, I could get like a blank rectangle pin and then put the sticker on it and then you that will be a pin. It's my idea, but I haven't found any. And then there's this little guy. I don't know how I visual I want to make these videos because I kind of intend these to like be played in the background without really looking at it. But uh, if you are doing that, uh, look over because there's some visual stuff happening. <laughs> and then you can go back to doing whatever you do. Hey, look, look at this guy. This is the mascot of Gunma. And if anyone's curious, Guma is like south west of Fukushima. I get west and east mixed up. Don't ask me how this happens. I am geographically challenged. Please be nice to me. Please be patient. I'm geographically challenged. It's a little strap. I should be collecting straps because straps are all over in Japan. And I have like 20 of them by accident. And then I also have this, which I actually bought out of necessity. It's a little, like, basically it's like a little, like, Pikachu thing that uh, the other side of it is just magnets. So you stick it on the wall, and then you can hang things from it, <laughs> right? Like, I can I can show that off with this. Like, see? So I bought this um, because I need somewhere to put my keys because I don't have a lot of space in the apartment. So basically the idea is that I want to put things on the walls because I have a lot of wall empty wall space. But uh, then I realized how my... My walls aren't metal. I, can't, I don't know how to put this up, so I'll figure it out later. And then the coolest thing I got was effing uh, My Neighbor Totoro playing cards, which I just got at, like, a random rest stop on the way back. <laughs> you know, like, th these were bought, these stickers were bought at the uh, Canyon Place. This was bought at the, like, Onsen. And then these two were bought at the, um, at, like, rest stops on the way back. But they're 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 um, my neighbor Totoro playing cards. I don't think they all have cool artwork on them, but they all have just they're all clips from the show, and all the clips like every single frame of that movie is beautiful. So like, uh, it's basically pretty artwork for all the cards. Open. Why aren't you open? Why aren't you open? I don't want to break this, but I'm breaking this. I don't want to break this, but I'm breaking this. How do I open this? Do I need to open it from the other side? It's taped up on the other side. It's still taped up on the other side. Intermission. Intermission. Okay. Oh my god, it's still not opening. Okay, well. <laughs> ah! And this is to go. Okay, we did it. Hell yeah. Okay, I don't care. I don't feel too bad about breaking this little cardboard box if they have like a little case to put them in anyway. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's look at. Let's open them up. Let's open that up. Oh my gosh, not this again. <laughs> Every time. Why must we, why are we born only to suffer? It says push on it in English, which is weird. Do people know the English word for push? <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
it is all just like artwork from the show but again like look that's just like random screenshot of the movie and it's effing beautiful <laughs> i love it i love it Yeah, these are all just random screenshots of the movie. But, like, look at them. Like, look at this. Look at this. That's beautiful. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, except for the the two Joker cards are, like, original artwork. Like, I think promotional artwork. Anyway. Oh, again, the little, like... Oh, that's beautiful. I still, I can't believe that I've been to Tokyo, like, three times, and I've not been to the Ghibli Museum at all. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> what is wrong with me? I, I'm ashamed of myself. Ashamed, I say. <laughs> I'll put this back on the floor. <laughs> we'll put this back on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely need to go to the Ghibli Museum. So that was the, that was the Canyons trip. I've already been on for 45 minutes. That could be like the video in itself, but we 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 can make a we can make a long one. You know, we can make a long one. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, overall trip was a lot of fun. However, I had trouble being trying to be in a big group. You get all the idea. So anyway, that was that was fun. That was the fun. That was the fun of the trip. And the bad of the trip was uh, I'm socially awkward. And also. I got sick again. It's just a curse. It's just a curse I bear. I'm just. Well, it's not this bad at um, Akito. But uh, I don't know. Like some like. Like usually I don't get sick that often. Like I've gone like a year or two without getting sick. But uh, you know. Moving to a new place is a. Uh... We'll do that to you, you know, especially if you spend all day in, uh, like it was the end of September. So it was still like relatively warm, but like the water was really cold. So basically I think it was just being in cold water all day <laughs> without ever drying off, I think was the thing that made me sick. That or somebody else was sick because it's a big group and you know how big groups are. But yeah, I don't know. And then the issue about this sickness is that it basically lasted for like a week because I got sick like. So we got back on Sunday eve. I got back on Sunday evening, and then like, I was a little sick on Monday, and then really sick on Tuesday. But I still went to work, because basically, like, I still went to work because um, I I was, I wanted to build up some like clout. I don't know if clout is the right word, but basically, like, I I, I am a fan of this job. I do like being a teacher in Japan, so I want to continue doing that. You know. I'm only contracted for a year, and I w would like to go to the max. Like I would like to have the option of being able to co recontract for the maximum of five years. So I want to build up some some good reputation. So, but that's basically why. And I've only been so like at the end of September. I would have only been like, I would have been here like two months and been only teaching like for one month basically. <laughs> So like uh like basically like in like my first like month or two I was afraid of taking a sick day, so basically Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I was I taught classes I I was showed up but I was super duper effing sick and it was awful, and then on Saturday I rested up and didn't basically do anything the entire day and then Sunday I woke up and feel like a billion times better and I'm like, uh was it worth it? Because <laughs> if I just took one sick day. That the rest of that week would have been super fine. Because, like, after resting one day, I already felt better. Like, I was cons consistently feeling terrible all throughout the week. And then the first day I got off, like, I started feeling immediately better. So, like, eh, I don't know. That's the kind of sucky part about having a job. But, for, but uh, you know, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, and, like, after I've been here a while, it'll be easier I'll feel more comfortable doing it, you know, without people thinking like, oh, he's only been here a month and he's already getting, he's, our natural things are, he's a human. Can you believe him? Can you believe this guy? He thinks he can he just be a human and have things? That's crazy. You know, at least they give me breaks, <laughs> you know, guys, like I have pretty low standards. <laughs> I have pretty low standards having a lot of crappy jobs back in college. 
Um, so there's like I can't stop like doing this on my glasses and shit. Anyway, sunglasses very different. <laughs> I think they do they make like prescription sunglasses. Anyway, not, moving on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I'm ha I'm happy that they at least give me breaks, but uh, you know, I don't know. I should have. I'm sure they would have. I'm sure they would have understood, right? I but uh, I don't know. Like I was just I was still afraid. Is still it's just Jello. It's just a can of Jello, <laughs> canned Jello, dude. <laughs> I don't understand. I, it's really good. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's really good, but it's just canned Jello with some liquid in it and a picture of Kirby on the front. That's the only reason I bought it is because it has Kirby on the front. Anyway, what was I going on about? <laughs> so then, uh, nothing happened from September 30th, from when I was sick, to October 11th. <laughs> but on October 11th, I went out with, uh, some people. I went out with, uh, there was, like, I basically share, like, my town, quote-unquote, because, like, the town's really big and I haven't seen most of it, because it's basically, like, three villages squished together i'm sure it's really obvious where i live but whatever uh but yeah basically do i i kind of because i'm basically just coming out here and saying it by saying this but you know basically date the city of date which is actually really cool i i'm gonna i'm gonna say that because date is really effing big so even if you like know that i'm in date it's still like because basically like they took three different villages and squished them into date because date is the like there was like date city and then there was like two little like villages around them or like a couple of villages around them and they just kind of stole those villages and made it date because uh date is like famous because that was like one of like it's date has been around forever if you've seen any like pre-modern era map of japan you'll see date you know like date is super famous <laughs> yeah, uh for this area you know Anyway, I'm sure people already guessed that it was Date, because I talked to that Fukushima had an anime that was called, that was about the Date clan, <laughs> and so basically, like, the reason that I was particularly interested in that and found that out about, like, right away is because it was specifically about the place that I live in specifically, but anyway, <coughs> I'm good. I just need to make some noises with my throat. Anyway, Big Town, I share the, uh, and there's like a billion schools, and I only, like, teach at three of them, and what the fudge is that? I know, I, I specifically faced away from the window to, to not get distracted by, like, cats, <laughs> but, like, I can still, like, out of the corner of my eye, still see the window. By the way, I, th I think that cat was, like, pooping. Because I've seen cats, like, right on the, like, l empty lot right outside my apartment window. I've seen cats just, like, poop in there. <laughs> but, uh, you know how it goes. I haven't seen any cats recently. Probably because it's cold. <laughs> but, no, no. Oh, yeah, no. The funny thing about that cat um, that from the last video is that um, I saw that exact same cat in the window of, like, the, like, pet salon, like, eating uh, out of a dish. <laughs> and I'm like, you belong to somebody. <laughs> You're like what are, you, what are you doing wandering around like you like you you're, you're not tied to anything like you're you're just a cat in the wind you know you 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 don't just sit in the window of a pet salon and eat out of a dish why do you have a dish if you're a free cat what's that going on about hold on oh yeah so the other uh teachers in my town we went out to a curry place and uh like i initially kind of like had written them off because like Anytime that I'd run into them, they're like, I don't know. I guess I'm just, if I find it difficult, like working in groups because college ruined me. Cause anytime you have to work in college for groups, like it just breaks down immediately. <laughs> like, I don't know why college and plot like insists on doing things in groups. Cause like it never works. It never works. Like the whole idea is like, Oh, learn some skills to be able to do teamwork, but it never works outside of college. Sure. Okay. Like. But, you know, uh, in college, it's really, like, nobody ever wants to do any work. <laughs> so.
So, and it's really annoying, and I hate it. I hate it. So anyway, yeah, so anytime, but basically, like, the other, like, English teachers in my area, we only really meet, like, once a month to just discuss things, and, like, I had initially written them off because during those discussions, I have, like, some paper towels here because I was expecting the thing to explode, and I don't know why I was, like, going over for them. Anyway, I initially written them off because anytime I we met, they just they just talk about work, and that's not particularly interesting. So I just thought that they weren't interesting. But like, like somebody was like leaving for Tokyo because Tokyo is an all-consuming monster that eats everybody. <laughs> so some so one of the teachers was leaving for Tokyo. One of the English teachers was leaving for Tokyo. So we gave her a big like going away party and. Which is basically just consisted of going to a curry place and having curry. And that was pretty good. I think that was like the first actual authentic Indian food I've eaten. <laughs> because like, I don't know, I just never, it never crossed my mind. I'm, I don't go out to eat very often. But uh, it was very good. I had, I had naan bread, I had some actual curry, it was, it was some good stuff. And they were actually cool to hang out with. Like, because it was just a small group of like, Three, technically two people, because one person didn't say anything the whole time, <laughs> other than uh, "winter sucks," and I'm like, "Yeah, that's all. That's all need. That's all that needs to be said, really, <laughs> you know." So yeah, but uh, yeah, no, no, in a small group, it's pretty good, you know. So that was fun. See, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to make friends. Oh yeah, they were also doing that because of a typhoon, I guess. I don't know why, because like the day after another typhoon happened. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so that was, that was a thing. Uh, it was just typhoon, it was just typhoon season. It was another, cause there was another, there was a typhoon in the, the first episode of this that I talked about, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there was another typhoon. <laughs> and basically I spent the entire day like held up inside and I watched a uh, black fox and it was a, it was a good anime. <laughs> And, uh, I think that's all I did. Actually, I think I recorded some, I don't know. I did some, I, I did some, I, I basically, I, I held up inside all day, <laughs> but like my area did not get hit that much, but the, uh, some other areas were hit pretty bad. Like my, uh, I was texting, uh, Dr. L <laughs> is that what I called him? Dr. L <laughs> my friend from earlier. And, uh, like basically like his area got hit like super bad and he was like oh yeah i have to he, he was he said he had to spend a lot of time like to help like rebuild like his schools were like kind of like all flooded and stuff and i was like oh man that sucks good luck good luck with that one <laughs> but uh yeah my area wasn't hit that bad i think there was a little bit of flooding but i like i'm on the second floor so like uh i'm fine i lived i lived i lived to see another day So that was October 12th and then uh, October 17th I did uh, some rice plucking picking harvesting I don't know but basically like the things about my schools is like I'm at three different schools and I think they they all view me as just the English teacher that shows up and teaches English and goes away <laughs> you know like that occasionally shows up teaches some English and then uh, boots out so, like, anytime anything is happening at the school, I'm never told about it. I should, like, really, like, keep the shirt straight so you can see. It says, it says, it says Kirby. It says Japanese Kirby. Did not get it in Japan. I got it in New York at the Nintendo World. But, uh, uh I mean, it's fitting here because it's, you know, it's Japan. It's Japan. <laughs> it's basically the equivalent of wearing an English shirt in Japan. But, uh, and it's like, it's like buying a, an English, an English shirt in japan and bringing it to america and be like hey look at me i got i got i got a shirt on that has english words on it ain't i cool it's basically like what i'm doing essentially and there's like really funny japanese english that i heard the other day and i don't remember what it was <laughs> i think it was just like one of my kids screamed i am big fire mountain and i'm just like me too dude <laughs> same <laughs> And I'm like, that's that's correct English. I'll give you that one. Good on you. Good on you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what was I going on about? <laughs> oh, yeah. The typhoon. No, I don't think I was going on. Oh, yeah. So, basically, the schools never invite me to anything. And I suspect that was... That's, I want to suspect that's the fault of the previous teacher that was here. Because maybe, like, 
they never were interested in any going to any of the school events or doing anything but uh i am <laughs> so like they were like oh yeah so they came to me and I'm like okay so third period is canceled because uh that class is gonna go out and do rice harvesting and i'm like okay and i'm like can I come? Can I come? Can I check that out? I mean, I'm not doing anything that period anyway, as you, we've just established. So can I come? And they're like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, you want to go? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And they were like very surprised. So that's what gives me the impression that uh, they just don't know that I want to do these things. So yes, I want to do these things. Give, give. I want to do fun. I want to do thing. I want to do thing because the only thing that I'd be doing anyway is just sitting there bored <laughs> trying uh studying um by sitting there bored i mean like studying japanese and preparing for lessons which is can get boring in ex and and in excess <laughs> i almost said in access as a meme like not as a meme and i'm like oh no oh no because <laughs> I, I say in, in access like way too much as a joke and then uh, just then I almost said it for real and so that's that that means that I need to stop saying that as a joke anyway uh, but I did some rice cooking that was fun I don't know if I have any pictures about that though okay <laughs> I hope you appreciated that sound because it's time for double dates <laughs> You know there's you know those um you know those like sitcoms where like you you have you have to be in two places at the same time so you to keep going back from one to the other. That's nothing like that. It was literally nothing like that. There was two festivals on one day, but they happened like separately from each other. So I just went to one and then went to the other cuz one was the um and there was a festival at that the school was doing. It was a school festival, not like anime school festival. <laughs> So there was like a junior high and not a it was the junior high and not like any high school because i don't teach at high schools so it wasn't like the anime school festival it's basically like they took a day and they did a bunch of like presentations or like did a bunch of like things on a stage is basically what it was like they started the day with like doing songs and then they had like the music club did something and then like people went up and like did like um did like a, a play a skit like it was like a joke though <laughs> Because they had, like, student, it was, like, they had students dressing up as the other teachers and, like, being, like, making, like, weird in-jokes. And I'm, like, what is going on? <laughs> there was, like, one joke where, like, a t where, like, a student was, like, dressed up, like, in a long coat. And then they had, like, a ruler. And they're, like, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna teach you all some physics. And then they put the ruler to the board and then drew, used it to draw a single line and then went, and then went, yeah, like that. And then they left. <laughs> and I'm like, is that, is that just like, is that like an in-joke? Is that what it's something that the teachers do? Like who, it seemed, it just seemed like very like particularly like in reference to something. <laughs> so I don't know, man. But, uh, you know, how, and I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just an English teacher. You got any English teacher jokes? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, then I think later they did. Cause there was like, they were, they had like English speeches where like people came up and like, there was two English speeches in English, and I'm like, oh, hey, hey, good one, hey. <laughs> I improved, A+. Plus. <laughs> it's getting chewy now. It's getting chewy now. I don't know if I like this. Anyway, so then I went to a festival. <laughs> afterwards like the town was having a festival so then i went to there and it was a it was it was a japanese festival that was like an anime ass festival they had stalls and food and games and they, they had two they had like two streets closed off one street just had like one street had stalls going all, all along and then the other street had like floats with drums and that was like the main festival but, uh, yeah, that was cool, you know? I, li I like festival food is definitely oishi, you know? <laughs> and also, like, I kept running into students there because I think all the junior high school kids did the same thing I did, which is after that festival, they went over to the other festival, so I ran into, like, to them. <laughs> and uh, I was actually quite surprised because, like, in school, like, the elementary kids are just crazy. They'll, 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 
they'll run up and scream things at me like all the time but like the junior high kids they they're always like very like very awkward and quiet you know <laughs> like all people are in middle school you know i've been there too especially me but uh you know out in the festival i was actually really surprised because they like came up to me and was like we're like making conversation and i'm like whoa hold on are you are you the same person are you this? <laughs> so like yeah it's just really i don't know i think it, and like i was uh, having i was also feeling that too because it was it was just a relaxed fun festival atmosphere so you know i definitely enjoyed that i definitely that's definitely on the list of definite things that i definitely want to definitely do in the definite future <laughs> defiantly what's it going on about yeah festivals are good local things are very very fun because that was like a large group of people that like i was able to talk to <laughs> like i don't know there was like like with the uh all the like the other english teachers that went on the big trip to uh the canyons like i, I that, that big group like i did nothing but like the big group of like the festival that was like that went a lot better so i don't know <laughs> I still haven't even went on the main effing, effing uh, thing that I want to go on. How long have I been going? An hour? Okay, we're going to spend the next three hours going on this rant. <laughs> uh, I think this, so that was on October 19th. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was very surprised of how many pe and many students came up to me and was like, oh, hey, what's up, buddy? You know, what's up, Nick Sensei? I make all my students call me Nick Sensei because uh, my last name is kind of long and complicated. And uh, it's just it's just short. And then and I also, for uh, when I'm teaching how to say my name in English, I say Mr. Nick. So if anyone wants to call me Mr. Nick or Nick Sensei, then... Go ahead. I give you. I give you full. I give you full authority to do that. <laughs> but generally, if you, okay. See, here, the thing about uh, people calling me by my name on the internet, I'd prefer not that would that not happen, because if you know me as Fireboy, I'd prefer that you call me Fireboy. So I'm like, okay, you know me. You know me from Fireboy. You know me from the internet. But if you call me Nick, then I'm like, uh, do I know you in real life? <laughs> You know, it's just a little confusing. Not important. But anyway, so, uh, what did happen? Oh, yeah, I got this. Can I show up this? Look at this guy. So, one day, uh, I was at the school, and basically, um, the, so I went to the school, and basically, like, before class, one of the teachers was like, hey, do you want a really tiny pumpkin? And I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't actually say hell yeah. That that's something people get confused about when I tell stories. I, when I say I was like hell yeah, I didn't actually say hell yeah. But if I say I said yeah sure what yeah sure I'd love to or something like that, then that's a direct quote. <laughs> so anyway, I was like hell yeah. And so he took me like outside and he had like a little like bush like outside of the classroom, like there was like the classroom was like on the ground floor and ba it had like a door in the back. So we went out the like the door in the back and there was like a little like a bush that had a bunch of like these things on it and he cut me off of this. Cut me off a little tiny pumpkin and then I went back and I drew a little face on it and I love him and I don't want him to get rid of him. <laughs> I'll keep him around as long until he starts to smell. And then the teacher was like and I was like, Oh, thank you so much for the pumpkin. Actually, I think I said that directly. I directly said, Thank you so much for the pumpkin. And the teacher said, uh, yes, but it's, it, that's actually an eggplant. And also it's poisonous. So don't eat it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'll do that then. So yeah, he's a little, he's a little guy. He's, he's so adorable. I love him. And yeah, I don't know. I guess it's an eggplant, but apparently that's a Japanese thing. So I was at the, uh. I was like walking by a flower store and there was a, they were at like, there was a plant like before Halloween, there was like a plant. They had like little plants out front the flower store that was that be advertising these things that grew these things. And they were like special Halloween plant. And I'm like, okay, it's like, I guess that's the, I guess that's a, that's a Japan thing is they don't have real pumpkins. So they just have plants that grow little tiny, uh, fudging eggplants that look like little oranges 
or look like little pumpkins, and they're poisonous. So, no. <laughs> I, re I was really tempted to, and I'm like, how poisonous could it possibly be? <laughs> but then I so that's half of the reason why I drew a little face on it, just so I don't end up eating it. Because <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's adorable. Anyway. So yeah, he'll he'll stay around forever. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish drinking this because I don't know if you can even can. I might have to just like get like a like a can opener and like take the top off and then get a spoon and then finish it that way. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. What's that going on about? I got a coffee maker. That's very helpful. Helpful, cause last summer I tried to quit coffee, which like, cause like it's not like I was addicted to coffee. I had like two cups a day, but I was like, but I like I have an issue about like not being able to sleep at a consistent time ever. <laughs> so I was like, maybe if I just quit coffee altogether, that that will help. Like no caffeine, no nothing. So then I did, and then nothing changed. So I'm like, okay. So then uh, for the rest of the summer, I just continued to not drink coffee. But then when I started this job, like, uh, and then another reason I quit coffee is because coffee is kind of a pain in the ass in Japan because, like, they're just not great. Like, they, they have coffee, but they don't have, like, cr a lot of, like, flavored creamer, which apparently is an American thing. Because when I went to, like, um, effing London, that, that area, <laughs> they also did not have flavor flavored creamer. <laughs> So apparently flavored creamer is an American thing that I was not aware of. Anyway, basic, anyway, if y'all don't know about that trip, then follow me on Twitter. <laughs> follow, follow me on Twitter. Hashtag. Anyway, so <laughs> what I was going on about, what was I, what was I going on about? Why did I bring up the whole, uh, oh yeah, the coffee. I got a coffee maker. <laughs> Because uh, basically, like, having to wake up early every day again, like, because for the summer, like, after I finished uh, college, like, I didn't have to, like, wake up that early. So, like, what I think is ins instead of just me not have being able to keep a consistent sleep schedule, I think my optimal sleep schedule is 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. But that's me being awake. And then I sleep 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. <laughs> and that's, like, my optimal sleep schedule. And if I have to be outside of that, then it's difficult. And because uh, school starts at 8 a.m. every day, um, that's several hours before 10. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know, it's just the magical number 10. If I just go to sleep and go to sleep when I'm tired and wake up when I'm not tired, that's just what I will default to. And I don't know why. <laughs> my, my internal clock is just like slow by a couple hours, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but so anyway, so for the first couple months, it was difficult because like, yeah, but I got it. Then I was like, screw it. And then I bought a coffee maker maker. And then I've been trying to do things to make the coffee yummy. <laughs> so that's that's my that's my thing about how my brain is broken. And now I bought a coffee maker. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I did, I th what did we learn here? Did we learn things here today? I don't know, man. And then following I did nothing. <laughs> I bought I bought Luigi's Mansion 3 and then I played Luigi's Mansion 3 and that's what I did for Halloween. Actually, that was the Friday cuz I think Halloween was on Thursday. So I don't think I did anything on Halloween. I think but the day after Halloween I bought Luigi's Mansion <laughs> because uh I don't know. I mean, I did, I didn't want to like start up a big game on Thursday when I had to get up the next day. You know how it goes, man. But I was thinking, guys, I was thinking, you know, Tokyo, if you don't know, uh, Tokyo has in Shinjuku, I think, it has like a big giant Halloween party. <laughs> and I kind of want to do, I kind of want to go to the, I think I was thinking of it because two years ago in uh, 20, this, okay, this year is 2019. I'm not crazy. In 2018. Uh, that block party kind of went insane because people just started drinking way too much and they started tipping over cars and people started getting arrested and it was a huge ordeal and then there was an entire episode of an anime like shitting on it basically <laughs> like man people being like man people are stupid on halloween all they do is drink and i was like this is an actual anime <laughs> i forget what it was it was like that um 
like really old like folk Japanese folk tale anime. If I'll I'll, I'll put I'll add it in post if I remember to, <laughs> but I'll add its name in post if I remember to. But basically, uh, yeah, it did not get a good reputation. But then this year, like the president of or the the mayor of that ward in Tokyo basically like were like. Because basically that event started, that Halloween event started because, just for no reason, <laughs> like people just wanted an excuse to get to dress up and uh, party. So that it just kind of started as like an underground kind of thing. And then like every year it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually like it got too big and like uh, a lot of bad things happened. So basically, um, after last the bad incident that happened last year, uh, the like mayor of that ward basically came in and wanted to make it official and make and like regulate it. So they so this year, like from what I hear, they had a lot of like, uh, like they had a lot of like security. They had a lot of police. They like banned alcohol, <laughs> and uh, it was, turned out to be a lot better. <laughs> so that's always good. So and next Halloween twenty Halloween twenty twenty. Um, does land on a Saturday, so I might, I might do it. I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do it. I want to do it at least once. I want to do it at least once. Cause the, the reason, the reason before I wanted to do it is I wanted to do it at least once before they, uh, just shut it down. <laughs> but now, especially since they've made it like a lot better, uh, now I definitely want to go. So, and next Halloween is on a Saturday. So I'll think about it. I'll think about it. And I, I do want, I still want to be here. I want to be here at least like two or three years, if not the whole full five years. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But for now, it was, it was nothing. I did nothing. It was just like Halloween. Which does suck, because Halloween's like one of my favorite holidays, just because I like, I just like the aesthetics. Everything's fun. It's fun. It's like, Look at, this happy, look at this happy little pumpkin. <laughs> you know, it has spooky things. It's it's distinct from all the other holidays. Because all the other holidays are just, like, generic, like, spreading happiness and cheer and goodwill. You know, like, all those boring, like, Christmas clones. That's basically it. There's just every, hol every holiday other than Halloween is just a Christmas clone. <laughs> and there's also Christmas. <laughs> so, uh, but Halloween is, like, celebrating, like, spookies. And, I, and it's, it's just unique. I don't think it's I don't think it's a controversial opinion that Halloween's the best holiday. Like I don't I, that's definitely not a controversial opinion. <laughs> it's just it's just fact. Still don't know how much I like that. <laughs> Especially since it's chew I like the taste but not the texture. I don't know if you heard that, but there was like just a car that came by and started making announcements. It's like we finally, we finally found the American. We're gonna get them this time, guys. That's for sure. That's what that said. I couldn't understand that. Even even if my Japanese was perfect, I cannot understand a car driving by, like probably a couple blocks away, just going. You know, like. Don't you, there's nothing there's no no amount of Japanese that no amount of textbooks is going to help you understand that <laughs> you need some sort of superpowers or something anyway so then on November 9th was uh, awful <laughs> <laughs> uh, because basically November 9th was a mountain hike that uh, was like hey you know climb up this nearby mountain and see some pretty colors and it'd be cool and i'm like okay sure that that's not i like i like i like the occasional mountain hike it'll be i'm sure it'll be fun uh and i was like yeah i'm, I'm interested in the uh the area around my the i'm interested in the local area you know have some some local things you know sounds like a good idea sound in theory sounds like a good idea you know i'm just trying to finish this now because i think it's getting less liquidy i can't tell if it's getting more liquidy or less liquidy like i'm getting to parts that's like all liquid with the occasional like cube of jello <laughs> like solid cube of jello and i don't understand that i'm still recording it would be uh bloody awful if I was not okay, we're good. 
But yeah, so in theory, that was a good idea. But in practice, like, um, it took forever. <laughs> like, it was a it was a clear day, and it was pretty. Like, all the leaves were pretty, and like we, at the top of the mountain, like we were able to see the the sea, see the sea, and I might put up some pictures. But like, in practice like we i went with like a group i didn't like really know like i knew them a little bit but like because it was like half people that were like from the um indian place and so like those people i kind of knew and then like half like other people i didn't really know but like the main thing was like they just wanted to like sit around they wanted to stop like every 20 seconds to take pictures <laughs> And I uh, didn't want to be there all day because, like, what happened is, like, they we kept stopping to take pictures, like, so often, like, that, like, we were late. Like, what was supposed to happen is, like, two hours up the mountain, an hour for lunch, two hours down the mountain, theoretically. But, like, what happened, like, because we stopped so often, it took, like, well over two hours, like, an hour, like, two hours, like, 40 minutes to get at the top. So, when we, we were late to lunch, and then, so, and then we still left lunch when lunch was over, so, like we only like rested for like 20 minutes <laughs> and then getting back down we also stopped like every 20 seconds <laughs> so like and then so then we were like at the at the end it was like way too late and like like it was just like well i was exhausted and of just like basically like waiting because you don't think that waiting around would be too exhausting but like it wasn't a wait it wasn't like waiting around where like you could like sit down and like wait it was like kind of more like standing around kind of waiting for people to catch up and stuff like that so it was it was it was more exhausting than it seems so uh but like the thing about it is like i can't even like like i'm not like saying they're bad people or anything like of like by no means am i saying they're bad people because like that's that's the that's just the reason they went on that hike you know they wanted to get a bunch of pictures and they got a bunch of pictures you know and I got, and I, t I took a few, you know, but I was just mostly like wanting to do things. And my goal was to do things in a timely manner and be able to uh, do things in a timely manner, basically. <laughs> and their goal was to just take as many pictures as physically possible at any, by any means necessary. So, you know, and it's, and like, I was the only one against that goal, right? So off the off the round of this i started thinking about uh culture and basically like okay so here here's here's my here's my here's my my 10,000 iq full ideas and by 10,000 iq i mean just things that this made me think about that i've that I've been swirling around in my head we have to make sure this guy is visible he can't, he can't he's not that visible with the crappy video quality on a uh orange pumpkin on a red couch Anyway, okay, so culture, basically, like, the when, for example, if me, an American, comes to Japan, the expectation is, the, the thing that make, that would be theoretically the best for everyone involved is that, okay, I've come to Japan, and there's an expectation that I, um, either I play nice, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say conform to the rules, but, like, obey the rules of the land right like in japan there's a lot of things that they're that are different from america basically it's a different place and so basically because it's a different place like it's it's expected it's it's good to respect that right so i'm trying to think of like a specific example but uh I don't know, just not being loud and obnoxious all the time. I don't. I think that's just an everything thing. But basically, like there are there are some there are slight differences between the like the cultural code, the cultural like things that happen between Japan and America. Like saying like specific like I'm just trying to th I'm trying to, I am trying to think like there's like specific like Japanese phrases that you say like at the end of the day everyone says otsukare sama as in like thanks for all your hard work and if you leave before somebody else you're like oh i'm i'm leaving ahead of you you have to admit kind of like admit that anyway there's entire like books on the diff on japanese culture and japanese etiquette taking off your shoes inside basically that that's a better example actually so i'm so you come to japan 
And then you're when you go to Japan, you're expected to take off your shoes when you go inside, right? That's the thing that everybody knows. So I so it would be it'd be crazy if I came and I was like, well, in my culture, we we leave our shoes on inside, and I think that's the best way to do it. So I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna do that, you know? Because it's not like the idea of going to a different culture is like you want to learn about the culture, right? Like you wouldn't come to Japan if you did, if you just wanted to act like the same way that you did. If you wanted to do everything the same way that you did in America, because if you wanted to wear your shoes inside, then just stay in America, you know, or any other country where that happens, right? Because it's not a, it's not it's not the it's not the mindset of like my wearing in sh shoes inside is more effective than not right it's the idea that like well this is this is this culture this is what makes this culture unique and we shouldn't try to change that just because it's not what you think should happen right it's not you don't have to like if you don't think that having shoes inside is a good idea then it's not like it's not like you should go to japan and try to change it just stay in america right because there's you have an entire other community of people that agree that like yeah we should wear shoes inside you know and there's nothing like and you just have to like there's i'm trying to like go, go like making somewhat of a counter argument for globalization <laughs> because like uh because like okay dangerous globalization basically because dangerous globalization is like we just turn ev all country all cultures in the world into one culture and like that's a bad idea obviously because like different point different views of the world and different points of perspectives and stuff are beneficial <laughs> cuz if we only have one way of thinking then like it's it can be bad <laughs> basically like again don't think i have to expand on this argument very much here because everyone knows that like having different perspectives is a good idea right <laughs> So it would be bad if we just turned the entire world into just one culture and one set of perspectives, right? Because there's things to be ben there's things to be gained out of going outside of your culture, right? <coughs> I'm a philosopher. Okay. Anyway, so the reason I bring that up. <laughs> Is because they, I'm just wanting to introduce this idea that like if you don't like taking your shoes off when you go inside, then you don't have to come to Japan and try to change that culture. You can just be like, okay, that's cool. You do that. If that if that's what all you people want, that's cool. I'm just gonna go off and find my culture of people who don't like that, who don't who don't who like having our shoes on inside, right? And that's fine, you know? And there's people like me who, like, definitely like going outside of my culture and being like, well, let's consider. Let's con you know what? Like, I grew up in a culture and a belief that having shoes inside is a good idea. But, you know, I want to I wanna go out. I want to expand my, my understanding of the world and understand, like, well, what is the benefit of, of taking shoes off inside? You know, what, what is the benefit of this? What is, what is, what is, what is, you know? And that's fine too, you know, that's, that's an advantage of having other cultures exist. But if you don't like that culture, then you don't have to take, there's nothing forcing you to be part, to partake in that culture, you know, like most people spend their entire lives not leaving like their hometown and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, like if that's the way that you want to lead, lead your life. But I do think that like other cultures need to exist, right? Like, cause it would suck that if somebody came to America and was like, Hey, Y'all, you're, you're doing it. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard, like, sawing. And I was like, is there somebody sawing my door open? Anyway, so basically, like, you wouldn't want somebody coming to uh, America and being like, hey, you should not be wearing your shoes inside. This is bad. And trying to change the, your culture, right? So you should also pay their respect, you know? Because basically different perspectives is a good idea. <clears throat> anyway, the reason I bring this up is because this can also ha this can happen on almost any scale is what cuz what I was basically thinking while struggling down that mountain with my walking stick is that this can happen actually I don't know it was a lot of like 
at, thinking about it afterward, you know, stay, like lying away, awake in bed, thinking about like different cult ideas of culture. But basically the conclusion that I came to, or at least the conclusion that I came to for the moment was that um, this can happen on a much, on any smaller of a scale. So going back to the mountain trip, the culture of the group of the mountain hike was we want to stop and take pictures and take our time. And I was specifically not wanting to partake in that culture. So there was like a friction happening of like me not being happy and everybody not liking me, <laughs> you know, because I was a, I was my I was fundamentally against the goals of the culture, you know, of the, the culture of the mountain hike. Right. So they're not in the wrong at all like that. If that's what that they want to do then sure you know like i i think i was i was more in the wrong for coming to this with my own set of expectations of how this is gonna go you know and that could have been remedied if i realized this at if i realized that at the time and was been like okay you know no expectations we're just gonna move we're just gonna go and do this however we want but instead i went in and i was like okay i want to i want to go up and down the mountain and, and following the schedule and that just wasn't how that went you know where's that going with this <laughs> this can happen on a smaller scale the culture blah 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 basically learn how to live in a culture and if you don't want get out and find another this should go without saying, but the reason why you don't want to enter a culture you don't fit with and change is because different people and different ways of viewing the world exist. Basically, yeah, it's it seems like a it seems like a pretty obvious conclusion that like other people exist and like you shouldn't try to like forcefully change them. But uh, you know, and maybe maybe that idea is not so obvious, seeing as there has been there has been an entire history of several wars of like of people not understanding this idea so i don't know and it also just happened to me you know it, it happened to me because because uh i just i didn't i didn't i didn't have an expanded view of culture but now i do i understand i see i see anyway <laughs> so basically my conclusion to that is that uh going I'm going, I need, I'm trying, I'm going to try to be more cautious in the future, I suppose, because at the end of that day, I, I, I ended that day with like hating people and hating everything because I'm just like, I just wanted to climb the mountain, but they didn't want to climb the mountain. And also with the whole thing with the canyons, uh, I'm just going to have my hand behind my back. I hope you don't mind. Anyway, the whole thing with the mountains is the canyons and the mountain, the mountains and the canyons and the other mountains and the canyons and the mountains and the peaks and valleys. Ah, I should name this episode Peaks and Valleys. That'd be great. Nobody would understand what it's about from a YouTube thumbnail, but uh, that's a good name. This name, this video is now unofficially called Peaks and Valleys because there was literally valleys of being in canyons and peaks of being in mountains, but also metaphorical peaks and valleys of peaking of being good friends with dr l and uh going to the festival and the valleys of the canyon trip and the mountain hike i'm i just thought of that off the top of my head that's really good anyway uh yeah i i think i want to uh, moving forward like it's good to like go outside your comfort zone but like the reason that you'd want to do that is to learn more about yourself and now i know like i like smaller groups i like people who i like if I'm going to be in a bigger group, I need to make sure that we're all on the same page. Like going to an anime convention or going to a Smash tournament, especially Smash tournaments, I believe. Like, because Smash tour tournaments are very specific. Like everybody's there for one reason: to play Smash and get better at Smash. You know, like nobody, like nobody's gonna go to a tournament and being nobody's going to go to a competitive smash tournament and, and be like oh you take the game too seriously you know like because they'd be like they'd be kicked out they'd be kicked out of the culture of smash brothers you know but uh you know i'm not it's not to say that i'm going to never leave my comfort zone you know i'm going to still continue to experiment about doing things outside because there's like because there maybe i might find a new culture that i like you know either small or big you know like i have in the past you know like before, I haven't. I hadn't always been an anime fan. I hadn't. Well, I kind of been an always an anime fan. 
but I hadn't always played Smash Brothers competitively, but I stepped outside my comfort zone and now it's def now it became my comfort zone. So but basically uh and it, there needs to be a balance, you know, cuz basically like to go to the canyon cuz the real thing that killed me about the canyon trip and the mountain hike is that the canyon trip I went uh, happened on the same weekend as a anime festival in my town <laughs> that and I signed up for the canyon trip before that got announced so like or before I found out about that so I went to the canyon trip when I would have probably been much happier at the anime festival and then the mountain hike there was a smash tournament in Sendai that I could have gone to the very same day so um, th there was definitely like if I would if I were to redo these past like couple these past two months, that's definitely the first thing I would change, you know. Yeah, I would I would go to the anime festival instead of the canyons. I don't know the canyons were fun, you know. The canyons were great, but I would definitely go to the Smash tournament than the mountain because like, you know, I was at odds with the mountain. Don't worry about that one. <laughs> My neighbors, like, all out there have, like, gardens, and so I just see them out there, like, working on their gardens all the time. So my that's my suspicion of what that hammering sound is, if you can't hear that. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but I did, going outside my comfort zone did work sometimes this month, the, during the past two months. Like, going to that curry place, I didn't think that, like, they would be the kind of people that I, that would, I would like to go to a curry place with. But now I do, I, I know, you know, so more curry, less mountains. More curry and anime, less mountains. More curry, anime, and Smash Brothers, less mountains and canyons. <laughs> you know, I think that's what we learned today. And more small groups, because also, like, hanging out with Dr. L, he he was a cool, you know? Like, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was taking, I was going out on a limb and taking a risk with that. So, you know, it wasn't all bad. But basically, uh, yeah, feel free to counter-argue me on any of this, like, because basically, like, the half of the reason I, I'm doing this is also to just have an outlet for all these things that I think and feel while going through this weird, like, change in my life. But also, like, the reason I'm so, I want to be, I'm so open about talking about the things that I think and believe is because I'm willing to have a discussion about it. So if you think my whole views of culture and respecting culture and, uh, doing all that are absolutely crazy or there's something like wrong with my like theories that i came to i'd, li I'd love to discuss it you know i'm i'm willing i'm definitely willing to change my ideas and understanding especially now that i have no arms <laughs> let me drink my soda it's not a soda anyway and then yesterday was a fun day listen and then it was a little, something a little light. Yesterday it was fun. Oh my god. I'm just, just chewing. I'm chewing. I'm chewing this. Yeah, I'm not going to finish this. I finished the beer and I can't finish the Kirby jelly. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah, yesterday was fun. Yesterday was... What day was yesterday? Yesterday was the 5th, November 15th. Because I'm editing... I'm recording this on the 16th. But I probably won't have this edited until later. <laughs> <coughs> But for continuity, you understand. So yeah, yesterday uh, I did. Uh, I taught some second graders how to uh, Christmas. I taught them about Christmas, and I made them draw a Christmas tree. Because basically, with the elementary kids, like three, f no, no, maybe three, three, and then four, five, and six. This the, all those grades like have textbooks. And I see them like regularly, and like I need to, I need to teach them English, but like for the elementary school, the first and second grades at the elementary schools, they don't have textbooks, and I don't go to them super often. But occasionally, the teachers will be like, "Hey, come here and teach us, and just you know, do do whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter, you know. Like there's no textbook to follow, there's nothing to do. They're, the teachers just like basically be like, "Hey, come in and do something. I don't know, man," <laughs> which can be kind of stressful because I I learned this like. T less than 24 hours until I had to actually teach the class where the teacher came up to me and been like okay so you're gonna teach um, the second graders tomorrow and you do whatever you want do something about Christmas I don't care <laughs> and I'm like uh, okay so like I just had to quickly throw together something in like 20 seconds in like uh, like less than a day basically 
because I also had a bunch of other classes that day too. <clears throat> but uh, I did. I what I did is basically I printed out a bunch of pictures of me at Christmas and I explained mall Santa. <laughs> Because that's something that uh, Japan, I don't think, understands. Is that Santa... Like, because the only time I ever see, like, depictions of Santa in Japan is, like, sexy Santas. And I'm like, ah, there's, there's more to it than that. So I explained that. And then I explained... I Basically, what I did is I explained a bunch of, like, American Christmas iconography. Like, turkey and candy canes and uh, snowflakes. You know, they don't have snowflakes in Japan, you know? <laughs> but basically, what I did... But I did that, I taught them all those words, and then I basically had them draw a Christmas tree with all the things on it, you know? And I'm like, okay, draw a candy cane on the Christmas tree, and draw a gingerbread man, draw a turkey, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a good time. <clears throat> they enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm quite surprised. I'm quite, I'm quite impressed. You know what, I'm going to say, I'm impressed to myself that I came up with something that good in that little amount of time. Because they definitely did have a lot of fun, just drawing stuff you know kids like drawing i like drawing too even though i'm really bad at it but occasionally for my worksheets i'll like draw a dumb picture on it <laughs> anyway my favorite part about that was uh somebody like for the snowman somebody drew the snowman with a really weird and creepy overbite <laughs> and i'm like why did you do this why why did you just like he was like he was like smirking and like kind of had like a weird like had like he had like weird like half circle like eyeballs <laughs> that made it look like he was like being really derpy and he had like a creepy overbite and I'm like why would you why would you draw your snowman like that and he just giggled at me and then later when he had when he drew the uh, the gingerbread man the gingerbread man was like effing ripped <laughs> and I'm like holy hell dude <laughs> like he had abs and like he was like big muscles and I'm like ah oh, that's not what a gingerbread man generally. That's not what a gingerbread man generally looks like, but I'll give you I'll give you that one. <laughs> so shout out to that kid, he's the best. <laughs> and then uh, so after uh, yesterday, I went over to the video game store and I bought Pokemon. It says in Japanese, isn't that cool? And then the back is in Japanese too, but the game has a language option, so yeah, there you go. Generally, I've I've bought a couple games in Japan so far. I bought in, I bought Mario Odyssey in Akita, and then so far I bought Luigi's Mansion Three and Pokemon Sword, and they've all had like English language options. But I should play Japanese, especially like baby kid games. Like you can even see on the box, there's like Furigana to describe to, to like the read. It shows you how to read the kanji. And that's, like, basically baby mode. But uh, I have plenty of other, like, manga to read if I want reading practice. And it also came with a free little pin. Look at that. Look at that chunky, funky monkey. <laughs> I was on the fence of what started to get. And then when I bought this game, they're like, okay, uh, with this game, you get a free prize. And she pulled out, like, a bag and was like, okay, pick a prize out of the bag. And I'm like, okay. And I grabbed and I pulled out a, a thing and it was this. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll go. I'll go with Chunky Funky Monkey. <laughs> so I should collect. I should collect keychains because I have. Because I try to collect pins, but like not a lot of places in Japan have pins. So I think I should just. And I have a lot of these. I also have a. Yeah, I have one of. I have one of Bandana Waddle Dee. I have from Akita, and I have one of. Uh, I have a little pin of. My, I have a little like. Key chain, keychain strap of my daughter from when I went to uh, Japan the first time in 2014 and then I also have like accelerator I have a couple I have a couple is basically the idea <laughs> but uh yeah so I should like find some way to display them because uh, I don't know if I use them as actual keychains that they'll get dirty eventually and I want to I want to keep them nice you know especially that bandana waddle do one because that 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 took that took some effort you know because it was like just a random like grab bag <laughs> and basically it was like it was like in the store and there was like basically like a box with a mystery prize inside and so like what i did is i just like and they weren't like they were like taped closed so what i did is i just took a couple of them and then like went to some, somewhere where they can't see and then opened them all up to see which one had bandana waddle dee in and then closed them all back up and uh, with the tape and everything and it was perfect and it was uh the most uh 
the most malicious thing I've done? I don't know. I wouldn't really call it malicious. The most rule-breaking thing I've done. One of the more rule-breaking things I've done in my life. But uh, I got a cool bandana wall strap out of it. So. I'm doing it from bandana wall He's He's the best. But, uh... Yeah, anyway. So basically, uh, I think that I think that was, that's pretty much it. Went on for about two hours, you know. <laughs> My timer currently says an hour and 44, but I'll do a lot of editing. Oh, yeah, and also, um, the downstairs neighbors, like, knocked on my door and to introduce themselves and to give me sweets. They gave me, like, a box of sweets. Or, like, they came up and it was, like, a, like a, like a, a couple, like, a relatively... I don't know. I can't judge age. Don't ask me. <laughs> they could have been anywhere between like, they were older than me. Okay, that's all I wanted. That's all. That's all. That's all I'll say with confidence. But it was like an uh, a older than me couple with like a uh, five year old or four or five year old like son, and they came up and they're like, "Hey, we're the neighbors from downstairs. Nice to meet you." And I'm like, "Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm the I'm I was like in my pajamas because <laughs> it was like kind of it was like kind of late at night, but I was like, "Yeah, I'm the American that just moved in and." Thank you for the stuff. It's very, very good. And I I want to give them something. I don't know, I don't have anything to give. I have American postcards. <laughs> I could give them that. That could be cool. I don't know. But, uh, or maybe I'll find some random sweets to give them. I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, that was, that was cool. I like that. I, I was, I was thinking that, I, don't, I was starting to suspect that nobody lived here. Because <laughs> I saw, I see cars in the driveway. But I don't, like, I know definitely, like, I think there's nobody else on my floor. I think everybody lives on the first floor because, like, the apartment this way definitely doesn't have anyone in it. Like, I don't think any of the apartments have anyone in them because, like, half of them have, like, the mailboxes taped up and the other half, like, have, like, just, I never see anyone going in and out of them. <laughs> so, uh, but apparently there's people living on the first floor. <laughs> so that's cool. So anyway, uh, let's wrap up this super duper 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 long thing. With future things, so fe so next week there's a health checkup, which you know is it's just a health it's a mandatory health checkup, which is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't think they really I, do they have that in America. I don't know. I know before I came here, they were like they made me do a health checkup to make sure I wasn't dying. So maybe like I don't know. Maybe Japan is more like strict about health check mandatory health checkups because I know there's like the meme of like the the fat tax if you're too fat then you can get taxed for it so maybe that's the purpose of it but uh i don't know it's mandatory uh but it's also gonna be fun because uh language barrier like i'm okay at japanese but like when it comes to medical terms i got nothing <laughs> the only medical term i know is the generic okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna teach you some japanese the generic the term the medical term for uh poop and pee like just the general like exiting waste from your body is high setsu okay so they're like oh high setsu ado then they're like oh how's your how's your pooping and peeing <laughs> that's the only like the fan that's the only fancy medical term i know <laughs> everything else is like oh blood pressure don't know um uh breathing don't know uh breathing i, I might be coke you i don't know <laughs> But uh, so yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be a fun experience. <laughs> but uh, basically, uh, if there's anything horribly wrong with me, the, I'm sure they'll find a way to tell me that there's something horribly wrong with me. <laughs> you know, if they start like, if the doctor like walks in and then looks at my chart and goes, <gasps> then I'll know something's wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like oh my god. My kids will say that sometimes. Like I'm just randomly teaching a class. And I'm like, does anyone know the the what uh, amusement park is in Japanese? And one kid will go like, oh my god! And I'm like, nope, not that, <laughs> not that <laughs> close. <laughs> this fun, I like it. Uh, so yeah, also that, and also like, they gave me like an at home urine test kit. <laughs> So basically, they're, they're like, okay, so the morning of the test, you basically pee in this cup, put it in this bag, and then bring it to us. And I'm like, we're not going to do it there? Like, they're like, no, it's fine. And I'm like, okay. And I, I'm trying to think of something fun to do with it. <laughs> like, I, I should buy some, like, 
wolf urine on Amazon and then use that because there is wolf urine available on Amazon. And so I should do that. I should buy a bottle of wolf urine and then fill it with that and then like see see how they react. <laughs> Cause my, it'd be funny if they're, they're, the doctor just looked at the chart and, and was like, oh, Americans are weird. This is weird. And so it gets, gets the test back. Oh, that, that's weird. Americans are weird. <laughs> Americans have weird DNA. You know, Americans have weird genetics. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> it's either that or they'll get the test back and they'll be like, well, saw your test and uh, I have a few questions. <laughs> First of all, are you a werewolf? <laughs> Question number one, are you a werewolf, yes or no? And I'm like, I refuse to answer. <laughs> uh, okay, before I answer that question, do you have any silver bullets on you? <laughs> if you do, then no, I'm not a werewolf. What are you talking about? But, uh, no, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll be nice. I'll, I'll do what they say. I'll take the pee test. <laughs> But I could, but there's theoretically nothing stopping me. It's just one of those like Japanese things that like, yeah, nobody in Japan would break these rules. So like, why would they, we even have these rules in the first place? But Americans definitely would break rules. Americans break rules all the time. I had a roommate in, when I was studying abroad at Akita, I had a roommate that was like questioning, why do, why do, why do Americans steal things? Like, because like from the convenience store, like nearby the college, like, like a, three dollars like fidget spinner was stolen <laughs> like somebody stole like a three dollar fidget spinner or whatever and they're like and he's like why why would you steal that it's only like three dollars why would you risk being caught just to steal that and i'm like i don't know americans just like have something to prove i don't know like i've never understood the the whole stealing mentality either but i think it's just an overall idea of just like wanting to prove that you can steal it <laughs> like i don't i don't get it i don't know I've been stolen from I, when I was a kid, when I was like, I, I don't know if I would say kid, like first or second, like first year of like middle school, like I had like a, maybe even before that, but I had like a, a, uh, I had a yard sale and some bullies from my school showed up and just took the two and took, grabbed the two cheapest things off the table and ran. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> whatever dude okay have fun with those i was probably going to sell them for like and a penny <laughs> i'm getting off topic anyway so i'll do the p-test proper <laughs> and then my family's still coming in december so that'll be fun we'll, I'll, I'll, we'll explore we'll rent a car uh i'm that group that sendai thing in uh send that smash group in sendai i found the Twitter account, okay, because I was looking at like an external source that just lists a bunch of Japanese tournaments, and they were they are very inconsistent at listing tournaments. So I found the Twitter account. So next time they have a tournament in Sendai, I'm going to that. Uh, but actually, like I saw from that group, they have they're having like a meetup in like another town over. I think it's like Hishagao. It's not something. I don't know, man. Something far away, but like. They're having like a meetup, like not a real tournament, just like a meeting, like a meetup, <laughs> like a like a. What would you call that? Is it just meetup, like a smash fest? They're having a smash fest, and uh, it's a, an hour and a half away by car, which you know, not too bad, not too bad. But uh, I don't have a car at the moment, so by public transportation, it takes three and a half hours, <laughs> and uh, with estimating. Uh, like costs of like getting train tickets uh it's like 60 dollars one way so don't know if i want to spend like seven hours and 120 dollars to get to this smash the smash fest but that brings me to my next topic which i want a car i want a car i'm i'm losing i'm losing my mind i need i want a car because i have a bike and all my schools are like relatively within biking distance so like it would be very expensive and somewhat unnecessary to get a car but like it's gonna start snowing soon it's gonna start being really effing cold outside and so and one of my the junior high is like up a hill and that hill is not fun you know every time i have i have that school i'd show up to work covered in sweat and wanting to die and you think it would get better but like i don't know i'm just not a naturally athletic person as you can see 
<laughs> like I'm not that bad. Like I mean, look at me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fat. I'm not. I'm not a fado. I'm not a little little fatty fat. Obviously, but like you know, it's just like I can't do a bite. I can't do. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not. And also, like, uh, I think having get, having a car would help me feel less trapped because basically, like, if it's not, like, reasonable via bike, like, less than an hour away by bike or within public transportation, I basically can't get to it. And there's a lot of places that, that that's outside the realm of. So I am, I'm going to look into a car. I definitely want to want a car. It's going to – I have the money, you know, I, if I can get a relatively cheap, uh, like, lease or something – you know, get one of those like K cars that's really cheap, then uh yeah, definitely I don't I want a car. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I can't do it anymore. And uh yeah, that's basically it. Oh man, <laughs> my notes. Dude, I'm funny, dude. I said buy a car, because I'm also not a fan of the bike culture. <laughs> going it all ties back together, dude. I don't like uh, the bike culture is just something I, I am at the odds with the with the cultural identity of the bikes, okay? <laughs> of the people of the bike culture. It's uh, it all ties back together, you know. But uh, you know, definitely a fan of the car culture, you know. And that is like a thing, like basically like everyone all the other teachers around me all have cars <laughs> cuz basically like it's where I live kind of in the middle of nowhere, but if you have a car then like you can get to the city, you can get, like, anywhere in this small town, which has a lot of stuff to do if you have a car and have access to it. And then you can also get to Sendai, and that's a big tid, big city. <laughs> Not a big titty, a big city. <laughs> I need to end this, dude. This Kirby drink is making me stupid. But yeah, it's getting pretty cold. Hold on, what's the weather? What's the weather looking like? What's the weather looking like? Where's my weather app? It is supposedly 53 degrees right now, but uh, it's just a little hot in this room as I'm wearing a t-shirt. But uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get into the it's gonna get into the uh it's gonna get into the uh the the 60s. I'm I'm seeing 60 on next Sunday, so uh, that's an issue. <laughs> Actually, no, 60 is warmer than what it is now. What the fudge? It's 56. It's 53 right now. Tomorrow's 56. Then it's going to go up to 50, 66. And then get down to 51 next Thursday. It's getting cold. It's basically what I'm saying. I need a car. I don't like bike. I don't like a bag. It's bad. It's damn. I don't like big. <laughs> so, uh, that's all I wanted to say. I think when it snows, I might just walk. Because b both a car or a bike would not be very easy to do. So I might just bundle up. <laughs> I might just bundle up and walk and have and wake up even earlier than I usually do, and uh, walk it. And I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments about be like, oh, you know, I wake up at 4 a.m. every day and I have to bike up a, a mountain that's 18 times higher than yours both ways somehow. And for those people, um, I have to say, um, understand the concept of relative pain. <laughs> if you're used to, to something, then it's not as bad. But if you're not used to something, then it's worse. You get the idea? You understand? Anyway, um, so yeah, family's coming, uh, health checkup, uh, gonna try to do more things within my realm of interest, but still occasionally step out to do int different interesting things but for the moment like i i'm 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 miss i'm missing i'm missing my comfort zone can we then even though i'm in japan i can still do my comfort zone i can still do anime stuff and uh uh smash brothers stuff also like i i, I like Jap I, I just like japan in general you know i i like being a teacher you know i don't i don't rant a whole lot about being a teacher i should do like a special like student story school story kind of video because uh that'd be fun i think there was like a giant like dementor flying by my window and i was like that's got a little concerning <laughs> that's that's just a just a dementor flying through the through my by the window but uh, i think it might have just been a crow anyway 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. But, uh, but the reason I don't talk about it too much is because, uh, I don't know, there's just not a whole lot to say. It's just a, just a fun, good experience. I talked about it a little this time, I suppose. I also want a new bed, because uh, I have the uh, computer currently just sitting on the bed, the camera sitting on the bed, and uh, the bed kind of sucks, <laughs> because uh, it's just a pile of blankets. And like, okay, so the thing I was saying earlier about Japanese bedding is that, yeah, because I saw a post the other day about people like, how do, how, do, how do Japanese people sleep on the floor? Don't they understand that real beds exist? And I'm like, well, A, if you've grown up your whole life sleeping on the floor, then that then it's more comfortable than an American-style bed because that's just what you're used to. And again, thing relative pain and all that stuff, that idea, that should be obvious. And also, the advantage of Japanese-style like futons is that you, at the end of the day, or when you wake up, you fold it and then put it away and then you can save the space you use that space for other things but basically my bed is like it has like a bed stand like a bed frame and a box spring and a futon on top of that like a pile of blankets so like it's not moving anyway it's not moved it's not go i can't put it away and save that space so like i'm not even using it properly so at this point i might as well just get a uh, American style bed. It all comes back. It all comes back to culture, and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, I hope you. I, I hope. I hope people are enjoying these. I the the last video got very little views, but it has like a one hundred percent like bar. So I think the there's not a lot and like zero comments, like zero views, like not a lot of views and like zero comments, but like a really like proportionally large like bar so i think the people that do did watch it do like it so i hope i hope you enjoyed and again if you want to call me out on any of my bs that i said about culture then go ahead but it's also like a two-hour video so if you if you made it this far just congratulations in general <laughs> thanks for listening because uh you know i'm mostly just i'm mostly doing this just scream into the void to get to just get it out there somewhere not not necessarily expecting anyone to listen but if you do listen then Thanks. Thanks. And I'll see you in the next one. I also... Uh, it's no longer Halloween. Uh, we're taking this down. Except you. You can stay. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's actually it. Goodbye. Goodbye!